Good day, everyone. Arthur here, and nice to meet, meet you again, Sam. Feel good to be back here. And hello, everyone. This is your friend, Sam Zhou. Okay, today we'll talk about Catacombs' innovative technology that we called Ultra Low Light AI NPR Plus. As usual, if you guys have any questions, feel free to type out so that our online staff will answer you as soon as possible. Also, we'll pick a few uh, for the later Q&A session. Okay, as we know, uh, traffic violence and criminal activities are often occurred at night because darkness at night is much easier for them to cover the illegal behaviors. And for traditional CCTV system, it can't obtain effective information such as license plate, face, and behaviors of people mm -hmm. in vehicle. So how to solve these issues for our clients? Good question. About 10 years ago, traditional MPR system appeared. With the assistance of flashlights, mm -hmm. the MPR camera can get a clear image of number plates and people in vehicle. However, the disadvantage is that the flashlight is too strong. It not only causes light pollution, but also endangers the safety of drivers. People in some countries may not realize the harm caused by light pollution, since no such ex system exists now. However, we highly suggest making a thorough plan at the beginning to avoid such kind of problem. And about four years ago, the dual sensor MPR system appeared attempting to replace the traditional NPR system by solving the issue of light pollution. Okay. So how it works? The system has two sensors. One is to collect figure and brightness information, yeah. which is relying on IR light. Mm -hmm. The other collects color information and what LED light is necessary. And finally, the two pictures are combined into one. Yeah. Since the brightness of LED light is much lower than flashlight, mm -hmm. so basically it can solve the problem of light pollution. However, this technology brings another two disadvantages. And what's that? Okay, first, the IR light is difficult to penetrate the windshield yeah. due to the anti-IR materials, okay. especially in some countries with hot weather. And second is color distortion. For example, people wearing black will be appeared to white color, mm -hmm. which will be a big confusion for evidence collection. Okay, so what the clients really need is a clear, real image of driver and passengers, but with no light pollution. Right. Here, I'd like to recommend Kedacom self-developed ultra low light AI NPR plus technology. As we know, AMPR refers to automated number plate recognition. AMPR plus means more than just AMPR. There are some more vehicle information that can be recognized. And the AI refers to artificial intelligence. And it's embedded in camera rather than servers in data center. Okay. And because of AI, only large ultra low light for field light is needed. Mm -hmm. The field light used is very low and will not cause trouble to drivers and pedestrians. Okay. So speaking of that, why not take a look at performance by a video? I think now you have a basic understanding of the performance of ultra low light. Yeah. Actually, we have experience in real projects. Some projects have to be stopped when citizens complain the light was too strong. Mm -hmm. 
but no confidence received when it comes to ultra low light. Let's see the pictures it captured. From the front side of vehicle, the number plate, driver's face, passenger's face, the clothes they wear, all the details are very clear and real. Yeah. And from the rear side of vehicle, similarly, the number plate, the details of vehicle are clear. Moreover, you can see the traffic situation and the status of traffic light and so on. Not bad. I wonder why the system can get such clear and real image at low light environment. Okay, we will talk this part in chapter one, product and technology. Okay. And it's real application about traffic variation management and AI suspect identification will be discussed in chapter two and three. Sure. As you can see, this is an actual installation photo. Only AMPR camera and ultra low light LED are working at night. Technical speaking, let's use street light for a comparison. Yeah. The brightness of street light is about 90 lux, but the brightness of flashlight is more than 10,000 lux. So normally, the flashlight is suggested to be only used at daytime. And guess what the brightness of ultra low light LED is? Yeah, only 20 lux in normal and 60 lux when vehicle passing by. Okay, 60 lux. It's lower than a normal street light. Mm -hmm. I believe I won't even feel it when I'm passing by. But why can a come system only need such low field light uh, at night? The secret is in the camera. It uses nine megapixel high resolution with AI low light enhancement algorithm. Okay. This algorithm is very innovative, mm -hmm. but I will talk it later. Okay. Here, let's take a look at its hardware design. First of all, the camera is all integrated. This long shading tube is to prevent rainwater from sticking to the glass inside. And this glass is a multi-layer glass that allows more light to pass through. And if we open the housing, you can see the main part is a camera. The surface of the camera is designed uneven. And the heat of the camera will be dissipated to this housing through the heat sink, which allow the camera to work at high temperature. And as you can see, there's no fan inside. The fanless design can prevent dust from intrusion. And the other part is the power and controlling panel, which will provide abundant interfaces for other devices, such as the ultra low light LED works at night, yeah. and flashlight works at daytime, and radar for speeding test, and so on. According to many real projects, the device does not require, require any maintenance for at least three years. And we have another device here is ultra low light LED. The device adopts 48 imported LED lights and it uses self-developed reflect technology, which can restrict, restrict the light spot from spreading. Yeah. So from with the help of this ultra low light LED, the camera can get a clear picture of driver and passenger at night. Yeah. And importantly, it will not affect it by the anti-IR windshield. Okay. Um, just you mentioned that it's a self-developed product, right? Yeah. I believe the algorithm is really a, a key part. Yeah. We call this algorithm as AI low light enhancement algorithm. All right. It is belong to age intelligence. Speaking of age intelligence, three key factors, including algorithm, mm -hmm. hardware performance, samples are indispensable. Yeah. Kiracom has one expert team, especially working for the continuous optimization of neural network. The hardware performance is quite high that can reach eight trillion calculations per second. 
much more than it required. Besides the millions of samples taken in low light, environments are used for deep learning so as to train the neural network, which allows the camera to restore a dark picture to bright. Yeah, that's great. So the success of algorithm is closely related to the wisdom, the sweat and teamwork of Catacom team. Exactly. A simple illustration shows here, the original picture on the left is very dark, but with the algorithms on, it can be restored to a much clear, bright, and real image. Yeah. It looks like the field light is in the right picture is stronger, but actually it's due to the algorithm. Okay. Okay. One of the most important applications is traffic violation management. Yeah. The reports in USA and China show that the violation behaviors are directly correlated to traffic accidents and people's lives. Okay. But unfortunately, many countries still neglect the management of violation behaviors, especially for the driver's behavior, such as phone calling, not wearing seatbelt. Yeah, I can see the importance of the violation management, but you know, they just don't react. Yeah, well, in some countries, they care more about the privacy. This is a reason. Yeah, yeah. But the others are lack of corresponding technology to manage. Mm -hmm. So well, Ketacom can provide an end-to-end -end solution. The front end system contains of nine megapixel AI AMPR plus camera, ultra low light LED, flashlight, radar, and front end storage. And the ITS platform as a server is normally deployed in data center. Access the data for, from all the front end systems for unified management. Mm -hmm. But for some countries, you know, the management software may already exist in the current system. Yeah. So another option is also possible that we provide the entire SDK of front end system for third parties integration. Okay. And our system can provide abundant detection methods of violation behavior. For example, the behaviors such as not wearing seatbelt, okay. phone calling yeah. are often seen on urban roads. Mm -hmm. While occupying emergency lane, over speeding are often seen on highway. So according to our experience in hundreds of ITS projects, we can give proper recommendation proposals. Yeah. It's said that about 50% of traffic accidents are occurred at intersections because people and vehicles are quite complicated. Mm -hmm. So it is particularly important to improve driving behavior at intersections. We also provide a wide variety of recognition algorithms for this purpose. Yeah. The most common algorithms are running red lights, not following guidelines, exceeding parking line, and so on. Okay. The so violation detection is not only for car, but also for motorcycles. Riding without a helmet causes a high fatality rate. Some countries are looking for a solution to manage this behavior. Well, no helmet detection and riding with people detection can be customized at camera side. Brilliant. It seems we almost cover all kinds of violation management behave behavior. Yeah. So the last chapter is AI suspect identification. Okay. In many cases, vehicle is one important criminal tool. All right. So in the process of criminal criminal investigation, it is often necessary to locate suspects through vehicles. But with the development of AI technology, we can do much better. Mm -hmm. In this chapter, we will integrate ITS system with Falcon human recognition system. I believe you guys are very familiar with Falcon system now. So yeah, so I will not go to details. Since plate number is a unique ID of a vehicle, 
So, so the first op option is to locate vehicle through number plate. The system supports automatic recognition of plate number in most countries around the world. Moreover, if there are some new license plate need to be updated every year, we can also use AI deep learning to improve the recognition accuracy. It can be increased to more than 98% on average. In addition to AMPR, vehicle models, colors, and brands are unique, are quite useful for searching suspect vehicles. Mm -hmm. Often in many cases, the witness may not remember a long string of number plate, but they may have a memory of the model, color, brand of the car. Yeah. So combined with the time and the location of the incident, the police can quickly screen out all the suspected vehicles. Mm -hmm. But some criminals are very cunning. They can choose to use other people's vehicle to commit crimes or escape, mm -hmm. right? Just relying on looking for suspects by vehicles may, may not meet the requirements. In this case, the most direct way is to look for suspects through their pictures. This is a real image taken in Phuket, Thailand. Mm -hmm. When the suspect was driving a vehicle passing by, the Falcon quickly located, quickly compared the image in watch list and gave an alert immediately. Yeah. So criminals can be quickly located no matter where they are. Therefore, it is believed that the innovation of technology will largely improve the efficiency of criminal investigation. All right. Thanks, Sam. Okay, Thank let, uh, let me summarize all these. Okay. 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 Today we talk about ultra low light AI and PR technology. The core product is nine megapixel AI in uh, AMPR plus camera. Yeah. And the ultra low light uh, LED. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the camera is adopted with innovative AI low light enhancement algorithm, yeah. which enable to get a clear and real picture of people in the vehicle and cause no light pollution to citizens, yeah. okay? And we also introduced two real applications mm -hmm. of innovative technology. One is for um, traffic violation management. Mm -hmm. uh, it not only detects car, but also detects motorcycles. Besides, the system can detect more than 10 kinds of violation uh, behaviors especially the detection of the driving behavior in mm -hmm. vehicle, such as not wearing seatbelt, yeah. uh, phone calling. Sure. Yeah, the other is for AI suspect identification. Uh, the traditional way is to look for suspect through vehicle, but now we are able to locate them directly through watch list. Yeah. So basically the innovative technology increases the efficiency of criminal investigation, am I right? Yeah, very true. Yeah, okay, thank you, Sam. Thank you. Uh, okay, remember all the questions just now you guys asked it? Uh, we'll just uh, pick a few and start our uh, Q&A sessions now. <clears throat> okay, let me just uh, pick a few questions and let uh, Sam to answer you guys. Okay. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, all right, the first question. Okay, I'll pick this one. Uh, how's the performance of the AMPR system at daytime? Okay. At daytime, actually, the technology is quite the same among different vendors. Uh, okay. Yeah. We all use the flashlight for fuel light. Since the daytime is bright enough, the strong flashlight does not affect driving safety. Yeah. So we use the strong light because the daytime we can't see it, right? Yeah, actually. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I will just pick another. Mm. Okay. Uh, this one is interesting. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, he asked that, is it possible to have some unique algorithm? I mean, like, uh, for example, okay. uh, recently a regulation was released that the smoking while driving is forbidden. Can we do it? I see. Um, as I know, the smoking while driving is possible to be customized. Uh -huh. And if you have some other violations to be detected, we also can evaluate the visibility. So we can do it. Yeah, we can do it. Right. Okay. Good. And uh, I'll just pick one more. Okay. 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 Mm. Right. Okay, the last question. Let's see. Uh, how? Okay, how, to, how? This guy asked that how to recommend an ITS system to my clients. I see. He wants to propose uh, to his clients. Uh, yeah, yeah. I see. Um, <laughs> actually, it's related to the real requirements. Mm -hmm. um, not all the optional devices are necessary, but we can give the best proposals according to the real demands of any user. So I think you can, um, don't hesitate to contact. We also can give the proposal together with you to your clients. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you all and thank you, Sam. Uh, I believe we still have some questions uh, that you guys want to ask. That, so we'll, I will just give some time for our online uh, staff to answer you guys. Okay, we'll just have two minutes to collect all the questions and we will just uh, after after this session we will just answer you guys uh, through through email okay so uh, let's have a few minutes let our online staff to collect all the questions <clears throat> Uh, so we are already correct, collect all the questions. Uh, after the session, we will just send all the emails to answer you guys. Okay, so thank you all and see you next time. Bye-bye.